the most popular board game of all times, the Landlord Games, or Monopoly as it is now known, was created by Elizabeth Maggie. On a similar note of breakthrough inventions is the compiler, which could translate code into machine-readable instructions, was created by Grace Hopper. Given me a platform like this, I can never miss a single opportunity of mentioning the contributions of such amazing big women, because otherwise I barely get to hear them. Or are we talking about computers, let's not forget other lovelies, who created, who was also known as the world's first programmer for creating the first algorithm for uh, the analytical machine with Charles Babbage. To Ritu Kardal, who is known as the Rocket Women of India for helping the position of leading the project for the India's most ambitious lunar projects. In the past minute, I've already mentioned computers over a couple number of times, and you have probably guessed that I'm a tech geek, and you might be correct. So, unfortunately, I didn't knew the contributions of such amazing women back then, and I just uh, came to know it recently. The only names that I knew in technology were Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and a couple other by the Asian men. So, coming back to the point, um, seeing this uh, gender discrimination in technology and seeing no one like me is actually there made me feel to take a step back and to rethink my career options. And I thought, why should not be an astronaut just like my all-time role model, Kalpana Chawla? And at that moment, I realized that there is something wrong. Something's wrong going on. And I, after Googling for a couple number of minutes, I came to know that I wasn't able to find a role model in tech industry is because the lack of representation of women in the school textbooks itself. A UNESCO 2020 report claims that women and girls are woefully underrepresented or represented in stereotype or traditional roles in the textbooks. It is also supported by a study in 2017 by Anna Leclerc that uh, textbooks from classes 1 to 5 of the NCRT has images of um, this images and illustrations of men being at workforces, being doctors, scientists, soldiers, and women are mostly represented as nurse, teachers, mothers, or wives. Here are just some examples of those textbooks which we as students normally have to read on a daily basis. To, uh, to, to, to enter my step into this gender discriminating world, I started interviewing women in male dominated fields from CEOs, civil lawyers, software engineers, lawyers, um, and started publish to them in a blog. And that's when Solibris initially started. I, I felt that the blog that I'm writing is empowering other women too. And soon enough, we grew into a community organization empowering over 50,000 plus girls from 30 plus countries with a team of 100 plus volunteers around the world. There wasn't one specific aha moment for me to realize that gender inequality exists. From my nursery rhyme, Mummy ki roti gol gol, Papa ka chishma gol gol, which says, Mummy's roti is round and round, so has Papa's money. Which subtly reinforces the deep-rooted deep deep gender stereotypes that occur throughout the Indian classrooms. To getting comments like, as a girl, how to sit or how to stand about my future career options. Once my relative said me that I am very privileged to have the most great parents, I said to myself, I 100% agree. 
They, they support me to the toughest times. They help me to pursue my passion. But, but, but. In the midway, she interrupted me and told me that because they treat my two elder sisters and me equally as my brother. And I said something was wrong. Don't get me wrong. I am definitely so grateful to have the most supportive and coolest parents. And that is what I'm grateful about, and not because they treat us equally, which they sure do, but out of the values that every human being should carry. So this brings to our question, what can be done? As a young woman facing gender disparities everywhere and anywhere, from business, from seeing the amount of discrimination happening in different fields, from business to civil works, to everywhere. There's one step you can take, is have conversations. It's so important to have engaging conversations about women's accomplishments and have events like these which actually celebrate women. And I want you to think of the change that you want to bring in the world. As I took a step forward and I wanted to change the situation of gender inequality happening around me. And trust me, that was just a really small step. And anyone ever can make it. I was just sitting in my school bedroom, um, in my childhood bedroom, and was creating, uh, interviewing women around the world and was creating a blog. And this is how you can make an impact too. My name is Vashtabhi Jaiswal. I am 16 years old. I am in 12th grade from Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. And I am standing here because I want to bring a change in the world. No matter how big or small, I want to close the gender gap. And even though I face numerous hurdles in my way, I still will continue. Thank you.